Are you sick and tired of all the stores lying to you about the prices? Well, today I'm going to show you exactly what they really pay. Yeah. 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 What's up, everybody? Welcome back to That Bourbon Dude. My name is Charles. Today I am doing something that I have been told not to do by several different people. Uh, different sources, different stores, and some close personal friends, and I want to do it anyways. I am going to tell you exactly what the stores pay for their bottles. I have a price guide, and I'm going to show it to you, and I'm also going to be linking this down into the description below, and without further ado, let's jump right into it. Before I do, I'm going to pour myself a little Bardstown Origin so we can get this started. I am filming this incredibly early in the morning, so it is like nine o'clock having my first sip before I leave for a trip to Florida. All right, ladies and gentlemen, here we go. Who is ready for some very, very shocking information? All right, let's take a look at this. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is the price guide <clears throat> for Michigan. I chose Michigan because they typically are the highest on most everything when it comes to retail price. So I want to use them as a baseline. Each state's going to be different, plus or minus, probably about five bucks. So this will give us a really good idea of what everybody is paying for the bottles. So let's let's get into this. What do we got here? All right. Oh, here we go. This is the good one. Jack Daniels, 10 year and 12 year. 700 mil is the first column that tells you the size. Second column is what they pay. Third column is retail. And then that is any price adjustment for that current pricing season. As you can see here, for the Jack Daniels 10 year, they're paying $76.33. Cents suggested retail price eighty nine ninety nine. <clears throat> Have y'all seen it for that? Because I haven't. I never see it for that. Look at look at the twelve year Jack Daniel twelve year four dollars eighty one cents suggested retail ninety nine ninety nine. Do we ever see it for that? No, we don't because it's like two hundred plus dollars everywhere we freaking go. It's unbelievable. It's not acceptable. And I hope after you guys see this video, you are a informed buyer. And when you go into the store and you see these stupid prices, you know that is not what it's supposed to be. And if they lie to you, because my local stores have done it to me, and let me just give you this the situation. This right here, right? Went into the store, they wanted $300. They told me that they had to pay hundred and ninety five dollars for this bottle no they did not they're full of crap okay so don't believe the lies ladies and gentlemen let's keep going and see what we got here uh, angels envy cast strength uh, they're paying 21205 suggested retail price is going to be 149.99 looks like they had a twenty dollar increase on that one not too bad let's take a look here oh this this one right here this is gonna get everybody worked up this right here regular blanton's gonna be uh the 375 so uh they're paying 30 dollars or sorry, excuse me 33 dollars seven cents retail price gonna be 38.99 750s they're paying 63 61 suggested retail price 74 dollars 99 cents Blanton's gold 109.41 is what the store's paying 128.99 suggested retail and then this is the great one here the Blanton's gold single barrel select 111 11 for their purchase price and there's only a two dollar difference between the regular and the store pick putting that at 130 dollars and 99 cents regular single barrel blanton's 65.30 for their store price 76.99 
or suggested retail. Do not go pay $100, $150 for Blanton's. Do not do that. It is not worth it. It does not taste that good. This one right here, this is probably be the shocker because we all see this for anywhere between $250 and $300, sometimes even up to $350. It's going to be the Blanton straight from the barrel. Stores are paying $100. $35.70 suggested retail price is going to be $159.99 ladies and gentlemen do not I repeat do not overpay for these bottles save yourself the trouble all right let's keep scrolling along here let's see what we can find oh here we go this is a good one this is good let's look at this all right so we're going to start out with the 375 of Eagle Rare store price is going to be $18.62 and retail $21.96. The 750, I'm just going to go ahead and jump down over here and I'm going to break it down easier. I'm not going to repeat all these over and over again. So store price on a Eagle Rare 750 is going to be $32.23. The big boy, the 1.75 is going to be $59.37. The Eagle Rare store pick, $33.92. I've seen a store pick for $100 recently. Unbelievable. Can you believe that? It just freaking blows my mind. Look at this next one. The BTAC, Buffalo Trace. Um, Eagle Rare, 17 year, right? Store pays $127.23. Suggested retail price, $150. That is a $25 markup. Our, excuse me, price increase from previous year. I did see Buffalo Trace make that announcement. But here's the good one. Look at this. Elmer T. Lee, $42.37. Suggested retail suggested retail price is going to be $49.96. Do not pay $200, $250, $300 for this bottle. It is not that good. You will be highly disappointed. You would be better off spending $200 on multiple bottles. All right, look here. Once again, George T. Stagg. $127.23 is what the store is paying. Suggested retail price $149.99 with that $25 increase from the previous year. Ladies and gentlemen, stop overpaying. You're hurting yourself and everyone else around you. Okay? We don't care about Jim Beam Apple. Uh, look here. This is an interesting Kentucky Owl Confiscated. This price has dropped again. So I was seeing this last year much higher, but currently it's looking at $84.81. Suggested retail is $99.99. I think it was last year, year before, the suggested retail was like $139. All right, let's keep on cruising here. Let's see what we got. We've got, Oh, here we go. Here we go. Getting down here to the good stuff. Right here, Maker's Mark. Seller age, ladies and gentlemen, stores paying one forty eight forty three. Suggested retail price one seventy four ninety nine. Do not, let me repeat myself. Do not spend three or four hundred dollars for this bottle. It is not that great. None of these change your life. Okay, they are what they are. You drink them, they can. You consume these products and then they're gone. And then you're like, dang, I spent too much freaking money. All right, let's keep rolling. What do we got here? Oh, here we go. Here, now we're getting into the, to the meat and potatoes, ladies and gentlemen. Right here. Old Rip Van Winkle 10 year. Stores paying 110 26 Suggested retail price, $129.99. It is not $800. It is not $1,000. They pay $110.26 for that bottle. Do not get taken to the cleaners on these purchases. Look here. Old Weller 107. Stores are paying $50.04. Suggested retail. $58.99. It is not $150. As much as they would like to tell you it is. Drop one down below that. That's the store pick. Only a $2 increase in the SRP and a little over a dollar on the purchase price for the stores. Okay, stop overpaying. You're killing yourself. Next up, look at these. We got a bunch of pappies here. Now, th this is a, uh, a big increase from the previous years. 
uh, and we'll cover these each as we go. So the 15 year Pappy is going to be 169.63 for the store purchase price. Suggested retail price going to be 200. The 20 year is 271.42 with suggested retail price at 319.99. That's a $40 increase on the 20 year, a $30 uh, increase on the 15, and then the big jump is going to be a $50 increase on the 23 year. Uh, store's purchase price is going to be three eighty one sixty nine with a suggested retail price of four forty nine ninety nine. Not twenty five hundred, not thirty five hundred, but four hundred and fifty dollars. Okay, do not screw yourself over and overpay. Make these stores put these prices where they belong. All right, Sazerac Rye from the BTAC collection, just like the other ones. 127.23, you suggested retail price at 149.99. Ladies and gentlemen, look at this, Stag, Kentucky Straight Bourbon. Look here, this bottle is not $250. It is $50.88 is what the store's paying. Suggested retail price, $59.99. Do not overpay, they are screwing you. You do not have to buy this bottle just because you have to think you have this like this is like something important it doesn't change your life it doesn't make you cool it doesn't make you fit in it just shows that you are overpaying and the stores are taking advantage of you okay here we go let's look at some of these we got the van winkle special reserve aka lot b 127.23 retail price should be 149 here we go. Look at this. Weller CYPB, Weller Full Proof, Full Proof Store Pick, Weller Single Barrel, Weller uh, BTAC. Okay, we got the William LaRue Weller. Let's start at the top here. CYPB, $50.04. Okay, we got Full Proof, same price, $50.04. Weller Full Proof Store Pick, $51.73. Weller Single Barrel. Look here, it's cheaper. Then CYPB, $47.49. Look at these. All these prices are cheap where they should be. You should not be paying $500 for a Weller single barrel. Look at William LaRue Weller, $127.23. Suggested retail price, $149. That's what it's supposed to be, ladies and gentlemen. Do not waste your money, okay? What else do we have here? We've got some Rise. Anything special about the Rise? No, doesn't look like it. Uh, what else? We have some more straight rise. Um, oh, here we go. The twice barreled rye. Ladies and gentlemen, look at this. Jack Daniels twice barrel rye. Suggested retail price at $80. Store pays $67.85. Only a $5 price increase for the previous year. So that is not bad. All right, look here. We got another one. Thomas Handy. Another BTAC. 127.23 suggested retail price 149.99 the van winkle family reserve rye 13 year is not 1500 dollars it is actually supposed to be 200 with store price being 169.63 i hope you guys understand that with me talking about these prices I am going to catch a lot of heat. That's what I wanted to do is bring you guys into the fold and let you understand what these stores are doing to you. You do not have to be part of their scheme. You do not have to have the money sucked out of your wallet by the lies these stores are telling you. All right, folks, appreciate y'all watching. Let me know down in the comment sections what your stores are charging you for these bottles. I want to know. Make them famous. Point them out. Let people know not to shop there. And until next time, Bourbon Dude out.